hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is susan if you're seeing this face for the first time you're welcome on this channel we talk about how to start a business how to grow a business how to make money online real estate and we do vlogs too if you're seeing my face for the first time you are welcome so without wasting, wasting much of your time let's dive into this video <music> On today's video we are going to be talking about how to start up a small business like a small business with at least a hundred thousand naira you can go all out if you have the money but this business you can start with hundred thousand naira so the first on my list is canopy business like that is rental that is party service event services all those people they are actually little little they are very that they are called the let's say the minor event planners let's say because most of those people that rent canopies they also do decoration like design all those design they design the canopy they put all those things at least when i grew like when i was growing up all those people that used to sell kind of like rent canopies they all have these their table clothes that they use to design the canopy all those things um a lot of them have scaled up from that aspect they've gone out to all those florists designing like really really good decoration so you can start from there like renting canopies and chairs and all of those things um those um chairs that they use for bride and groom and it's not just wedding uh, rentals you can use birthday rentals there are many people that rent chairs and canopies just for events you know meetings they are doing meetings birthdays um name ceremony weddings all those things most weddings are indoor right but the ones that can't afford the indoor service can as well do the outside service to get so if um rental business is one of them next on my list is content creation like this is what i'm doing right now you don't need money yes that's what a lot of people say but you need money to buy a lot of things you can actually start with your phone but what if you don't have a phone you can have you can have a phone and the camera might be bad and you may it may not be good but you still need to invest in your content creation right you need to bring out good content you cannot just make a video like with black background ugly background and expect people to watch it you have to invest in your your content you have to invest in that business because it's a business like it or not it is a business you can have a hundred thousand naira or less for this one this is a bonus the next on my list is makeup artists so being a makeup artist is so like it is always very lucrative people are doing like even if i know how to make up if i want to do a, a, an event i will still hire a makeup artist because i want to look my best at my own event you get so makeup artists they are this is a very good business you can travel anywhere you want like anywhere in the country or in the world just to do someone's makeup and it doesn't matter where you start or how you start you will always get there that is all as long as you're dedicated in that business you are always going to make it so makeup is one of those lucrative business that you can start with hundred thousand like i mean hundred thousand if you don't have the skill you can get the skill in that on the within that that budget that hundred thousand budget you can get the skill you can get good makeup equipment you can get your makeup and you can start off from there you can start by making your, your sleep, siblings up or your friends and without before you know anything you are already making brides making silly brands making anybody you can think of you can make you can do it as long as you have the passion for it the next on my list is photography business <laughs> photography is is one of those businesses like that are booming i don't know if you understand pregnancy photo shoot birthday photo shoots events wedding any anything you can think of just i just loved my i just love myself and i just want to show what i'm wearing to the world i, I will just go to the uh, photo studio and take pictures there's this girl that we grew up with we were always seeing her with camera 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 going to go and take pictures she even did um cover the photography for my sister's wedding then we we're always like ah, what's this guy doing with camera but today this girl is not taking for like pictures of ce um, celebrities i am not kidding you she's not taking pictures of celebrities that's how dedicated she is so if you want to be a photographer you have to go and acquire this skill 
please all the businesses i'm listing for you guys if it is a skilled business please acquire that skill so that you will know what like, you're doing and people will hire you acquire the skill when you acquire that skill you the next on my list is farming business farming business is very lucrative a lot of people look down on this business because it has to do with water soil feed um animals poultry all of these things a lot of people look down on this business but they don't know that you and i we eat protein you cannot do it there's nobody that you will serve food and you will not put protein on their plate so this business is a very lucrative business i know this because my dad is a farmer he has his own farm in his own house agricultural farming no um, he has agricultural farming and he has animal farm like um pig chicken poultry all those things and he sells to people that sell others do cook food outside like all those things he has this poultry eggs during festive period he's always like selling his business is booming so this business is lucrative like honestly this business is lucrative a lot of people cannot do without eating freshly um killed livestock i don't know if you understand like fresh chicken they, they, they don't prefer the frozen one they prefer the fresh one where they go and pick and kill like this business is booming even fish all those things poultry like if you can get your hands on one of these and a farming business yeah you are going to make it it's, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Let's, let's not go there, but it's a very lucrative business. Trust me. The next on my list is bakery. <laughs> Yesterday, I was watching a video on YouTube. I saw a seven years old girl making cake, like decorating cake, not just making, just decorating it. Seven years old girl. I can't even make cake to save my life. This girl was making cake and decorating it. And the cake was so perfect. Like for me to even bring it out for you guys to hear, She's a Nigerian. Our, our mom is a baker, a caterer. So we didn't, during that holiday time, like COVID, when children were at home, homeschooling, she was spending time with her mom inside the bakery store. And from there, she started picking interest in that thing. And she was saying, begging her mother, disturbing her mom that she wants to decorate. She wants to... They didn't listen. They were like, you're just, you're, you're, you're little, you don't know what you're saying until they gave her the first, like, they were giving her remnants to play with, dummy cake to play with, and before we knew it, this girl, ah, I don't, I will look for this video and put, this girl makes cake, like, she makes cake, she does all those flowery stuff, all those things that you see in cake, edible flowers, she creates them, she crafts them, seven years old girl, I wonder how she would be when she's, 20 or 30 she's just seven and she makes good cakes so baking is one of those things everyone is celebrating cakes are just symbol of celebration happiness so if you can make cake please if you are not just cake pastries anything small chops they're all together so if you can do this you don't have the skill you have the desire to do it go and learn that skill and start it when you start, you will not even know when you will blow up because from your surrounding, people will start hiring you to make cake for them. And before you know it, you're already there. Next on my list is caregiving. Caregiving, you don't really need money, but you need money actually to get all those little, little toys. For That's for kids, though. little, little toys, especially for those that their parents are working after school hours. They just want their children to just be somewhere while they work. So your job is to pick them from school, bring them home, engage them, TV, cartoon, toys, ed um, educational toys, all those things, for them to just stay engaged while their parents are at work. So this is actually, you don't really need a lot of capital for this, but this is just a bonus share. You just need, this is a bonus. The next on my list is phone accessory business. Phone accessory business. See, I don't know how many times I bought charger for my phone. I, mean, I don't know how many times I've bought charger. It's like every month I buy a new charger from my for my iPhone. I don't know. So once it comes to content creation, a lot of content creators are investing daily for accessories, on accessories, especially the speaker, the charger, the phone screen, um, ring light. A lot of all these things are being bought by content creators. 
not just content creators some people just like themselves they just like take pictures and make videos of themselves and they buy all these things as well but these people generally they make a lot of money from content creators content creators are not just youtubers they are also tiktokers instagrammers twitters all those people they are all content creators so if you are into phone accessory business just know that or if you are trying to get into this line of business just know that you are working on the right path so please consider this business it's not that it's not that expensive yes it's not that expensive if you can't find it um accessories in nigeria you can always import and i'll be telling you guys how to import goods from china into nigeria on my next video so stay tuned the next on my list is online travel planner let's say um what does agent travel agents yes so this <clears throat> a lot of people want to travel out of this country some people want to go for holidays some people just want to drag back so if you have a skill or you know what you are doing on this aspect you better make it a content like you make it you monetize this this skill you have because that is a knowledge that a lot of people are aspiring to have people are busy they want to see let me just tell you some people want to travel out they want to relocate they don't have an idea of what to do some of them have little but they are too busy to use that time to do it for themselves this is where an agent comes in your own is to go and learn there are many ways you can learn you can learn these things online and make and monetize that skill you have and assist people see once you're an agent you have to put yourself like your client first don't bring as in there are so many agents that are just quack they just want to just collect money and make wrong applications for people please don't be like that i'm just i'm here just just to tell you not to be like that but these people are making money these people are actually making money so if you know what you're doing in that aspect if you have a, an idea if you don't you can go and learn and then monetize it so these are the these are a few businesses i have for you guys for 100,000 naira and above that if you want to go out but you can have your 100,000 naira and still succeed at this business so thank you guys for watching and have a nice day